Hello, my name is Alor Navarro. Welcome to my little studio. This time, I want to show you how to export Icon 3D animated characters to HitFilm in order to create a cool sequence filled with visual effects. One of the new features of Icon 6.5 is the possibility to export characters and props in the Alembic format created by Autodesk. This format includes not just the shapes of the selected items, but also their motions, allowing to exchange animated 3D models between applications. And in order to show you all the process, I have created this sequence with a couple of creepy zombies gathering through the corridors of a sinister underground laboratory. To make the zombie character from scratch, I use Revolution Character Creator, an incredibly powerful but easy to use application that allows one to create any kind of human characters just adjusting their morph sliders. Every part of the character can be easily customized as well as their textures that I fill with wounds and scars to get that scary zombie look. Character Creator automatically adapts the selected clothes to the body shape of the character, taking care to avoid overlapping between garments. I also change the texture of the clothes, making them as dirty and decaying as the character itself. Once complete, the characters can be sent to Icon, where they can be animated. In order to make the animations, I had a nice tool, the new motion capture suit. Its sensors allow to record all my body movements, including my fingers, so I just had to put on the suit and start doing zombie motions. Revolution provides an iClone motion capture plugin that links with the Neuron Axis software, so the motion record with the Neuron suit can be automatically applied to the selected character on the icons project. Once the motion has been loaded, we can modify and refine it using the powerful and intuitive icon animation tools until we get exactly what we want. Wet maps applied over the skirt and the hair of the female zombie provide extra realism to the character when it moves, thanks to the icons soft cloth physics engine. Icon also provides interesting tools of facial animation that allows us to change in real time the expression of the zombie's face just using the mouse. Finally, before to export, I have to play the animation ensuring that the bake animation option is enabled. At this point, we can go to the file menu and choose Export Alembic. Lambic files don't include the materials with the models. So I also sent the characters to 3D Exchange and exported them in OBG because this format includes all the materials already assigned to the model. In a new hit film compositing project, first I load the OBG files. They came with all the materials properly assigned and I just changed the specular light and the strength of the BAM map for the face and the body because the values by default left the skin too shiny and bumpy. Then I apply the Alembic files on the OBG layers and the models became animated. I download a picture of a corridor from the internet and I use the projecting effect of heat film to create a 3D simulation using a static camera that projects its view over 3D layers placed matching the walls and the floors of the corridor. Viewed from another traveling camera, once the lights of the project have been properly set, the 3D effect obtained from a single picture looks pretty convincing. I put the animated models in the corridor and as all the elements of the project are actually 3D, we always get a complete integration, no matter where the camera is located. I also include a 3D particle layer simulating a leaked toxic gas cloud as well as all the visual effects as a motion blur in the zombies or a camera lens dirt effect. And finally, the project was ready to be rendered. 
Although he film has its own video editor, I'm more familiarized with Sony Vegas. So I load the rendered scene in a Sony Vegas video track. Heat film and Sony Vegas are completely integrated, so I could apply a heat film shaking effect to the track on Vegas. I add several old fashioned static noise effects to simulate camera interferences, and some audio clips with zombie moans and roars, as well as military radio talk and other audio stuff I found on the internet. I mix it all together, and this is how it finally looked. Looks pretty nice, isn't it? As you can see, Character Creator, Icon, 3D Exchange and Hit Film are powerful but affordable tools that can work in combination to obtain very nice results in a very quick and easy way. So, if you have the wish, now you don't have any excuse to not start creating outstanding animations by your own. Thanks for watching, hope to see you in my next article. Bye bye.